go ahead and go in there. Okay. I get the fan out. We'll try to get these guys to focus on all the hard stuff. So this is badass, right? So what you do is really cool. IU alum Mark Cuban is bringing a first to the nation to Bloomington thanks to a $5 million donation. Our sports reporter Rich Van Wyk live in Bloomington with Mark Cuban with the plans for the renovated Assembly Hall. Rich? Mark Cuban made a $5 million donation, a donation that is, to open the Mark Cuban Center for Sports Media and Technology. Mark, congratulations. What an awesome way to give back to your alma mater. What is this place going to be about? Um, it's about technology for the future. Um, virtual reality like Oculus Rift, um, integrated 360 3D like 3D technology. Just, you know, it's an ever-changing landscape and I wanted to try to give IU a, you know, a head start into that because we need to create graduates that are fluent and literate in those types of technologies. <laughs> So you didn't really sketch video, you just took one perspective and just put it on. Right, so you, you put a wide angle lens and you just put it right on one of the turns here for the middle five. That's right, for now. And are you stereoscoping it into 3D or just single uh, 2D? It is 3D. Okay, so you record it in 3D and you take advantage of the eye of this 3D. That's right. The uh, footage we have here, a lot of it's archive footage. Or what they have done in the past with 3D? That's right. So you just took one cut of the 3D from a turn that they have? Yeah. Right. So something else we have here, look at the rowing to the right. Yeah, go ahead and go in there. Okay. I get the fan out. But you basically use footage, 3D footage for most of this, right? Uh, the majority of it, there is some spherical footage in this as well. Okay, which one is the spherical? So go ahead and click and go back to the Because this is really just straight up 3D, right? That's correct. Because I can't really, I'm not really inside of it. So go ahead and look at that sphere there. Yeah, so who did you use for the spherical? We have a video stitch rigged GoPros here. So that's what we shot recently. Okay, so that's, okay. I can put you in touch with GoPro if you need a permission, and I've got a company that you want. It's a stitching, right? So because this part of it is actually more relevant, and then the programmatical part of the CR is that even more advanced. Right, so that you know how they're creating, you know, dinosaur things where we create Spider-Man and all that. Uh -huh. Right, so being able to mix and match those is a really good problem. Yeah, so this, this is cool. Um, you can trigger the individual 40 effects if you look to your far line. Oh, then you trigger it, yeah, you show me how you trigger it. It's cool. Get that GoPro on the road. This is cool though, congratulations. But the way you, okay, you see the way you made your tree background, the, the, the fault background with the trees and everything? Being able to integrate that and switch all that and making the trees, you know, move so or you know, recreating the IU campus using um all of that. CGI. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah just using the same same stuff they used to do the fault, because that's that's the um the what you call it, the um the shift the fault. Right. So, so, so you programmatically overlaying on top of that, that's when you're going to get to the next level. To match all of it. Right, so that you can recreate the entire campus um, so that you're walking through campus and, you know, if I want to walk into this building, walk into that building, and eventually there'll be glass there and you're sitting right in the first row. So, the more homework you do on the um, and the less actually 3D you do, because the stitching part that you're doing with the GoPro, that's the part that's the hardest. Right, so I'm going to try to get these guys to focus on all the hard stuff. So this is badass, right? So what you do is really cool. Um, but I want to get you, like, beating the shit out of all the MIT guys. We just gathered everything up and presented it. Yeah, but this is cool. This is a great, great system. This is the 
prototype back there for the control behind the fan. All right, all right, all right. That's cool. All right, that's very cool. Thanks for trying it. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's cool. Appreciate it, man.